Hello and welcome to the second part of personal finance and dating. In this video, we will cover all of the things we didn't cover in the first part. Alright, I know that's obvious, but we can't afford to waste any more time on this introduction since there is a gold mine of information ahead of you. If you haven't watched the first part already, I suggest going back before proceeding. For those of you who have, let's jump right into it. Why over 80% of people are below average? This graph explains everything in life. It explains income, it explains dating, and it even explains life experiences. There is a massive positively biased skew to life and over 80% of people will fall below the average. This is simply reality. Knowing that around 80% of people are going to fall below average, you know that the girls are going to flock to the top 20%. This is shown on numerous college campus studies where one-fifth of the men receive the majority of the sex. This ratio doesn't change as you get older and likely gets worse. Particularly as you get into the 30-plus range, where many men have decided to marry and others simply gave up and settled for a life of mediocrity. Staying above average on the income side. This one is easy. If you put in your best effort based on what type of intelligence you have, you will make money at or above the average. This will give you enough income to spend at least the median level in your city and invest the rest. You'll gain momentum over time, particularly as your event and performance-based income increases over time. In the interim, you are spending at or slightly above the median to maintain a normal and fun social life. Use money to improve your looks. You cannot do anything about your height. You cannot do anything about your race. You can do a lot with one, your build. Two, your hairstyle. Three, the clothes you wear. Four, your body language. And five, your diet. Instead of wasting hours and hours talking about things you cannot control, focus on the five items listed here. Do the opposite of your peers and get a basic understanding of how to improve your looks. Use your money to get a solid gym membership, purchase some nice fitting clothes, stretch daily to improve your posture, and of course use that money to buy premium fuel for your body. Use money to improve your status. This is straightforward. In a club environment, the easiest way is to become friends with the bouncer and bartender. Alternatively, you can go straight for the jugular and obtain the table next to the DJ. It simply depends on where you are in life. If you're trying to compete with guys in the eight-figure range in the most expensive club in town on an investment banking associate budget, you're going to struggle. This is simply reality. Find a venue that has girls you'd like to meet and calculate your relative status in that environment. If you will be in the top one-fifth in the venue, it's the correct venue to enter. In short, life is a positively skewed bell curve. It is not a normal bell curve. The vast majority of people fall below average, leaving an open field for those in the top 20%. This ratio only gets worse over time, and if you can get into the top 2 to 3%, you'll be swimming in options. Sooner than later, you'll be avoiding phone calls. If you have to go out of your way to meet girls, and you are 30 plus, something went wrong. But I know a rich guy who struggles. To wrap up this video, the most common rebuttal is someone saying, I know a rich guy who can't get girls, therefore money doesn't matter. This is pure nonsense. We have provided a solid guideline on how much money you need to make. For a 7, you need to make around 1.0 to 1.5 times the median income. For an 8, 3 to 4.5 times the median income. For a 9, 5.0 times or more of the median income. The only way this equation does not work is if you violate the original premises laid out in the video. We simply have not seen anyone with normal social skills and an income of $250,000 or more complain about girls in New York City. If you are 1. Overweight. 2. Dress like a slob. 3. Don't spend money on experiences. And 4. Have horrible social skills, then you have broken the rules in this video. Boring Type A Personality. This is the most common. Many, many, many people with high incomes do not have an interesting personality. This is why we recommend going out two times per week when you're young, usually, Thursdays and Saturdays are the best options. This creates a baseline for your social skills. 
It forces you to improve. Under no circumstances do you live inside of a basement, coding the next amazing app for seven years straight. You deserve to go out at least two times a week. If you know someone who is a boring type A person, but has money, you know what to do. Befriend them and try to see if you can create money together. If there is no business overlap and the guy is unwilling to learn basic social skills, stop returning his calls. Move on. Simply unattractive. You don't need to be a model. You don't need to be 6 feet 3 inches with blonde hair, blue eyes, and a testosterone level of 1000 at all times. You simply need to be the best you that you can be. If you are of average height, but have a solid build, you're going to be well ahead of your peers. Guys who are shorter but are built like Greek gods are going to do just fine. Again, you do not have to look like a professional bodybuilder either. Simply get your body fat into the single digits and put on extra muscle weight. As a review, here are the general guidelines. Ideally, you want to be within 10% of these measurements. And as usual, this is art, not science. If you want to take a closer look, I suggest pausing this video. I'll also leave the metrics in the description of this video for those of you who are interested. Poor style. This is honestly an epidemic. While obesity is certainly the number one epidemic in the USA, poor fit and poor style is second on the list. It does not take much to look nice. Simply find clothes that fit and put them on. In addition, take the next step and also find what colors suit you best. We don't know if you are black, white, Latino, Asian, Indian, or Middle Eastern, and we also don't care. But please find the colors that will match your skin tone best. There are basic books that you can read on this topic. In short, the argument of knowing a rich guy who struggles is simply rationalization. The person is trying to find examples to prove he is correct. This way he does not have to take responsibility for his life or his decisions. The only group of people we see struggle with women once they clear three times the median wage are type A boring people and extremely lazy slobs. If you go out two times per week and stay in shape, you're not going to end up in this camp. Use this to filter out your friends. Anyone who tries to tell you money doesn't matter is rationalizing their failures. Take a mental note and slowly fade away from them. Concluding Remarks This video focused primarily on income and dating. If you are extremely handsome, a male 10, or have extremely high status in an area, then you can certainly break these rules. The overall premise however, is the same. If you can spend 1.5 times the median wage in your city, then you will have no problems dating in the 7 range. If you can get into the 5 times median range and are in shape with solid social skills, you're going to be sending girls into voicemail consistently. To summarize, for a 7, you'll need to make around 1.0 to 1.5 times the median wage. For an 8, around 3 to 4.5 times the median wage. For a 9, at least 5.0 times the median wage. If you cannot find a way to date attractive girls while spending 3 times the median wage in your city, the problem is personal. You should be able to obtain dates easily by having better ideas, better venues, and better logistics. As you get older, girls expect you to make more money. When you're young, take advantage of this and prepare for the future. By 30, you should be at or above the median in spending power, this is a bare minimum. As long as you have two commas in your bank account, you will always be a 7. If she can't experience it, it does not exist. If your net worth is in the 8-figure range, but you live in an RV and dress like a slob, no one will care. Location matters a lot for determining median income, potential upside in terms of experiences, and your ability to leverage your income to your advantage. Money can improve your looks, it can improve your status, and it can even improve your social skills as you should feel much more confident in your personal value. Dating in life in general is a positively skewed bell curve. Roughly 80% of people are below average. This is simply a harsh truth. Anyone who claims that money is irrelevant is simply rationalizing or is extremely young and has not seen the wealth impact yet. If they are in their 20s, they don't know what's going to happen when the inflection point hits at around 30 and the long-term pain will come at 40 plus. 
Avoid people who attempt to rationalize their poor decisions. Here is the median for the other three categories. Looks. You are about 5 feet and 8 inches. You are roughly at 13 to 15 percent body fat. You are not fat or skinny or ripped. You know how to wear appropriate fitting clothes. You look better with a shirt on than a shirt off at the beach. Game. You don't have social anxiety issues. You can spark a convo at a bar with girls or at a coffee shop. You do not have cold hard calculated regimens. A guy with incredible game can teach you a trick or two, but you don't need advice. You are socially normal. Status. Since you're at the median it doesn't hurt or help you. You are not a DJ, bartender, promoter, musician, gangster, or ball player. You are simply a typical guy in the environment. You are not able to push guys around with status symbols like tables, bottles, and sports cars. Notably, we will not let this video degrade into a debate regarding which of these three categories is more important. Why? Because it depends on who you are talking to. If the girl is obsessed with music, you are going to have a huge edge by being in a good band. If the girl is a trust fund baby, you are going to have a huge edge by being attractive since she doesn't need the money. If the girl is upper middle class and lives a boring life, your edge is going to come from entertainment and fun. If the girl is dead broke and is a gold digger, you're going to have a huge edge by being rich. Just don't trust them.